Hello, this is uh, Minister Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. I'm uh, up late at night, couldn't sleep, because a lot of the lies that's being said about basically me my and my home, there are people out there that don't believe in really what the Bible says. They don't believe what God says. They don't believe what Jesus says. They want to believe what they have been taught throughout the years. And a lot of the things that they've been taught is a lie. Open up your Bible for yourself and read it. Stop listening to men out there and women that want to keep you suppressed with lies. Read the Bible for yourself. Stop coming down hard on me because I'm making these videos and teaching you the truth. One lie that's going around out there now, uh, some people are saying, is that I have roaches. The reason why I'm up at late at night, it's after midnight, is to show you I don't have roaches because roaches, they do like coming out at night. They like hiding in dark places. They like being in cupboards as well. They like being where the food is. So I'm going to show you my cupboards. And of course they also like getting right in, you know, the cracks and crevices of things. They like getting, see, here's my cupboard door. Say what? There's my cupboards. This is not a roach, by the way. This is just uh, uh, something that uh, got uh, on there. See, no roaches crawling around. They like being in the cre you know, the crevices and and places like that. No roaches, because these are my bowls, and right here's uh, my spices and sugars and things this is not a roach by the way it's just a stain there's a stain I got a lot of stains but where's the roaches I don't see no roaches crawling show me the roaches people stop your lying please before I have to resort toward, toward uh, legal action towards you people you know who you are that's doing the lying. Come on, get it straight. You're lying on me because I'm touching a nerve with you in my teachings that it is every Christian's responsibility to do the right thing thing not teach people how to make money on their own and to do it all themselves there's nowhere in God's Word that says to do it yourself and make lots of money while you're doing it and if you can't do it yourself then you don't need it show me where it says it it doesn't I'm sick and tired of you people lying that teaches that false doctrine there's a false doctrine no matter what you want to say about it. False prophets go has a special place in hell. Here's uh, some more of my cupboards. I have to get some more light over here because I don't got enough light in my kitchen. Here's uh, here's my uh, other cupboard I built, uh, gotten built. Where's the roaches? Come on, show me where where's the roaches crawling at? Where's the roaches hiding at? Huh? Where's the roaches at? Huh? Come on, where's the roaches? Here here's my other uh, panther here. Where's the roaches? There is no roaches hiding 
anywhere whatsoever. That's just dust over there. There is nothing. No roaches crawling around. It is, it is nighttime. So they should be out and crawling around. But they're not. They also, oh man, really, they, they, they really love, uh, you know, uh, uh, stoves, stove tops. They really love stove tops. There's no roaches on my stove. Uh, crawling around on my counter. I'm up also so I can make tea. I mean, not tea, but Kool Aid. <sighs> you know, come on, people. It's time to put up or to shut up once and for all I do not have roaches get it straight the Bible clearly says you're not supposed to judge and you're not supposed to lie on another brother you know we're all supposed to be brothers and sisters in Christ if you believe in Jesus Christ we're all brothers and sisters and when you're judging me and then you're lying on me like you're doing you do not really love God you're a liar plain pure and simple as that and God God will wreak his vengeance on you he is sick and tired of what you're doing and what you're saying there's gonna be a time mark my words because God has given me this uh, vision just recently God is going to do something that's going to bring you to your knees once and for all think about it think about what I'm saying you're going to lose everything you're going to lose everything that you have and then where's your treasure going to be where's your treasure going to be are you going to kill yourself because you lost everything because that's your God that because that's your belief that you have to have things to to show that uh, you're bearing good fruit bearing good fruit doesn't mean having uh, nice things and lots of things it just goes to show where your fruit really it lies on earth not in heaven plain pure and simple as that my fruit lays in heaven my treasure Lays in heaven. So you can say whatever lie you want. It's just going to stay that lie. Start apologizing. And admitting you're lying. Once and for all. And ask for forgiveness. And you know. It, 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 it don't have to be publicly. It can just be privately between you and God Almighty. And if you want to write me an apology, that's fine as well. God is going to send you some harbingers to warn you. To get your attention, if you don't wake up before it's too late, you're going to lose everything you have. Think about it. God bless.